going on everybody? Welcome back to Drew Code Sports Talk. On this video, we are going to be doing our top seven power rankings. Andrew, you ready? Oh man, I'm, I'm golden. Let's go. So in this edition, we are going to be doing our top seven power rankings of the NFL after week one. So Andrew, take it away. What's your top seven? All right. My number one team, I'm going to go top to bottom, so one to seven. I have number one, like we said in the video before, I have the Los Angeles Rams. I don't think there's really much else to say other than uh, Todd Gurley, Aaron Donald, Ndamukong Kasu, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Marcus Peters, uh, Keeb Tlaib. And then uh, Jared Goff has been doing pretty good, and we'll see about Brandon Cooks and, and Robert Woods. Yep. It's uh, it's pretty scary in, in Los Angeles right now. Number two is the New England Patriots. Mm. I love the Patriots. I was not uh, as afraid of um, everyone was of picking them in the Super Bowl mm -hmm. because when you have Tom Brady, I know everyone would say, well, he's getting older. Okay, let, let's be honest. He's been getting older every single year, and every single year he's been – constantly proving us wrong right now later in the year maybe it might catch up to him but right now the new england patriots they still have bill belichick and gronk is is healthy and he looked strong yeah he looked good so i'm not worried about patriots right now um a number three team is the minnesota vikings cousins was a great pickup for the vikings mm -hmm. he is moving this offense a lot more fluently than what keenum did so mm -hmm. i was very oh, i was kind of happy for him right you know seeing him in washington struggle all those times so um, and then the defense is just absolutely legit. We'll see if they can stay healthy, but yeah. right now the Vikings are a scary team. They are. Very My number four team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Now they would probably be three or possibly two, mm -hmm. depending if Carson Wentz were playing. But right now, what I saw, Nick Foles is their Achilles heel right, right. now. I don't like it. They were. They'd rather throw a pass to Nick Foles right now <laughs> than sign Des Bryant. Like that's how funny it is in the league. But right. anyway. I digress, but um, yeah, I like the Eagles. I, obviously, they're the Super Bowl, uh, defending champs. Super Bowl champs, so yeah. um, they're good. My surprise number five team for me was Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. I thought they were very good. Patrick Mahomes was actually really good. Mm -hmm. So you're um, buying in the hype? Well, it's week one. I'm not going to buy into the hype yet. He was still on my don't draft list because he he's still young. Um, but Tyreek Hill, man, he was a man possessed in that game. Yeah. I mean, he was absolutely ripping the Chargers. I thought the Chargers defense was a legit defense. Right. Now I'm like, well, I guess maybe the Raiders could beat them. Well, also, Bar uh, Bosa was injured. So let's oh, that's that true. Account, that is so. true. Okay. Um, I don't like the Chiefs defense. I think that is going to be their, their yeah. hurting point there. But um, I do like the Chiefs overall. That is a very powerful offense. Uh, well, this was before Thursday night. Um, right. I, I wrote Baltimore Ravens. I do still believe in them. I think the Bengals are actually better than what a lot of people think. Mm -hmm. I think the Ravens are still trying to figure each other out. Uh, Flacco really didn't play a lot in the preseason. No. Ni neither did Michael Crabtree, and Crabtree and Flacco are still trying to learn each other. Mm -hmm. They're veterans, though. They'll figure it out pretty quickly. Um, and that defense is really... It is. I know that the Bengals beat them up, but... I think that defense is actually pretty good. But C.J. Mosley might be out, and that might hurt yeah, a big time. Tough one. Um, and then my number seven team uh, is the Don't Sleep on the Atlanta Falcons team. Mm. I really like the Falcons. Okay. I know they lost, but listen, they lost to the defending champs. And let's be honest, Matt Ryan wasn't on his game. But again, we we're talking about week one. A lot of guys don't play in the preseason. Mm -hmm. If they do, they barely are playing um, if they're you know big-time starters. So... I, I like the Falcons. It's hard for me to say no to them. Uh, they are going to be without Devontae Freeman, but with Tevin Coleman, they're not going to miss a beat. Right. Um, Neil is injured. That kind of worries me on their defense, yeah. but all in all, I still like that team. And also, we'll see how their offense doesn't keep sputtering with Sarkeesian at the helm, which is either bad, bad play calling or they're just not believing in the coach. But anyway, so my top seven, I'm going to go from seven to one. I'm going to go the opposite way. Oh. Number seven, Switching we've out. got the Saxonville Jaguars. Saxonville. And uh, pretty much the reason why they're number seven is the exact reason why they are the one of the 
toughest defenses in the entire league, if not number one. You've got Jalen Ramsey there that's locking down corners, although he didn't lock down OBJ. I'm just saying. Oh, man, OBJ. But even still, though, they got to the quarterback very often, and their defense basically won them that game. Uh, their offense is suspect, but, I mean, you have Fournette. Bortles, I don't trust him. So if you're in fantasy football and you need a quarterback, get anybody except for Bortles. Yeah. He'll, he will make your life a living heck. Anyways, uh, number six, we're going to go with the Green Bay Packers. Now, the reason why I put Green Bay is because I actually thought Chicago would be a decent team this year with some upgrades at offense and even now that they have Cleo Mack at defense. So the fact that Aaron Rodgers with, I think, less weapons than he had last year was able to pull it off and on one leg, I think is why the Packers are in the top, uh, or number six. Number five, we're kind of matching here with the Chiefs. Uh, my reasoning is it's not their defense, it's their offense. Patrick Mahomes just makes it pop a little bit more than Alex mm-hmm. Smith. Uh, him and uh, Mahomes and Tyreek Hill, everybody watch out right now. Be yeah. on notice because Tyreek Hill's going to outrun everybody and Mahomes going to outthrow everybody except for Hill. So. And Mahomes likes to go downfield yes. and Hill likes to run. Yes. So. <laughs> and they also have a guy named Hunt who didn't show up really in week one. But again, you got so many options there that just watch out. Okay. And then number four. We've got the Minnesota Vikings. They handed Jimmy G finally his first loss as being a starter. Their defense looked phenomenal. Kirk Cousins looks a lot more comfortable in that offense. And they he's got a running game, and he's got some really dependable receivers. So that's that's a team to watch out for. They I think that they are going to be as close to a Super Bowl contender as you can get. Number three, I have the L.A. Rams. The reason why is because, again, they're coming in. This is Sean McVay's second season here with this mm-hmm. offense. Brandon Cooks is being integrated. Robert Woods didn't really show up in on Sunday, but he's got to get a ton of targets along with Cooper Cup. So this offense and Gurley is going to explode. Their defense is going to be gnarly, so we'll see. Number two, I have the defending champion Eagles, and the reason why is because they kind of had a pillow fight with the Falcons. So Falcons really are having a stalemate offense like what I alluded to in your last pick. And the Eagles with Nick Foles, to me, is not a big, scary threat. But the fact that they're still winning with Foles, to me, is a big reason why they're number two. I mean, that team still finds a way to win regardless. And when they get uh, Wentz back, they're probably just repeat. Because Wentz is a, a phenomenal arm talent. And then number one, I have the New England Patriots, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, sitting on the mountaintop for week one. And again, it's because they handed over Deshaun Watson a loss and kept him in check when everybody thought that he was going to go crazy on their defense because yeah. they have no players. They've lost... Nearly all their secondary, but they have this front seven that got after him like crazy. So Doesn't it drive you nuts that a lot of people doubt the Patriots' defense each and every year? And I feel like Bill Belichick used to be a defensive coordinator. I don't know. That's just something. Maybe. I don't know. That's what I thought. I find but. it funny that almost every year for the past five or six years even, there's not been one Patriot that has not gotten suspended for the first four games. Interesting. It almost seems like every year there's a Patriot suspended. Interesting. I'm just saying. But and they're they still, still win. One, and they still win. They still win. So, so anyways, guys, good. that is our top seven. Comment down below who you guys think is the top seven in your guys' power rankings and share that with us. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Drew Code Sports Star. We'll catch you guys in the next video.